So about a few days ago, one of my friends woke up to me and asked me a question. And this question revolves around the word of your You see. So here's what the person actually asked me. Hi Sam, say so, um, yeah. I just um, I was about getting a laptop and then they sent me the specification and I saw the word catchy. I don't know what the um, word catchy means. Please can you explain that to me? Is that what you need to know? Yes, that's what I need to know. Okay, I will do that shortly. Thank you. Yeah, that's actually the question. So I would like you to understand that regardless whichever kind of system that you're using, whether big, small, sleek, old technology, new technology, regardless whichever kind of system judge you're using, your system has what we call specification. And part of the specification of your system is what we call the system catchy. So I will explain what the system catchy means and what it does to your system. So I would like you to stay tuned to the end of this video and watch out. So let me start from this note. Whenever you're trying to open or access any of your files, you do it through so many routes. It could be through your network, your internet, it could be through your input and output device, even through your storage device. So if your PC needs to reuse all of this program, what it does is that it will have to travel through these various routes to bring in those data. And this usually takes relatively a longer period of time. That is the reason why you always notice that if you open a program for the first time, it usually takes a longer period of time to open compared to subsequently opening of the same programs in your system. So the hack can help to speed the process by holding a local copy of the recently accessed file. What it does is that it takes it and keep it in a temporary file. So we have three levels of catchy that are functional in your CPU. So if you ever experience speed when you're trying to do something on your system, maybe you're trying to open a program or run a particular software, the speed or the performance is also traceable to the catch of the system. So what the system catch does is that it helps to hold a local copy of the most recently or access data on your system. What it does is that it takes it, picks it, and keep it in it temporal storage. So I would like you to understand that we have three levels of system catchy, which is traceable to the CPU of your system. We have the level three, the level two, and the level one catchy, which is functional within the CPU of your system. So the first level of catchy that we'll be talking about is the level three catchy. And I would like you to see the level three catchy as the biggest of all levels of catchy and the slowest but faster than the memory of your system that's the RAM. So I would like you to see this whenever you're trying to access or fetch in data from, let's say for example, from your storage device, it is picked from your storage device, then dropped in your memory, that's the RAM of your system, then taken into the biggest levels of cache, that's the level three cache for easy accessibility. So the level 3 cache is responsible for keeping data that are transferred from the memory of your system. So we have the level 2 cache. So the level 2 cache holds less data than that of level 3 cache and is much more faster than that of the level 3 cache. So it holds the most recently accessed data that are not used by the CPU of the system. So I would like you to see this way. Let's say, for example, you open about six programs in your system and you're currently working on the sixth one. The first five programs are the most recently accessed data that are currently not in use. So that is the work of the level two catching. So it helps to keep the most currently accessed data that are currently not in use. So we have the level one catching. So the level one catching is the fastest and the smallest of all levels of catching. It helps to hold the data that are currently in use by the CPU of the system. So do not forget that we have three levels of cache that are responsible for the performance or the speed of your CPU, depending on the size of the cache. So we have the level three cache, which is the biggest among levels of cache, followed by the level two. And we have the level one cache, which simply is the fastest and the smallest of all levels of Catching. So do not forget that the level one catchy hold 
data that are currently in use by the CPU. Let's say, for example, you are currently working on a program. That means you are actually making use of the level one catchy. So if this video is helpful, I would like you not to forget to give me a thumbs up and see you in the next video.